Hey, yo, gender queer chat. I am Sydney Tinker, and uh, this is Thursday. It's actually kind of late Thursday. Um, this week's topic is uh, kind of all over the place. There's a bunch of stuff to talk about. Uh, I'm not going to hit all of it really, because uh, don't really have solid, deep feelings about uh, gender queer comic characters and things like that. Uh, it's just sort of a thing. Uh, I don't have any particular favorites uh, or uh, any strong feelings. Um, but uh, one of the things that's been kicked around this week is um, kids. Uh, now, some people, uh, some parents are pretty uppity about the whole thing and think that they are amazing for having kids and that those of us who don't have kids are uh, deficient and lacking and that um, we just, you know, we will have kids uh, and then we will understand and we will be better like they are uh, or something like that. Uh, I've gotten different things in that range, but basically um, there's a snobbery in parenting and uh, people who have kids are uh, looked upon as like better than us. Um, I know probably at least about half of the genderqueer collaborators just from uh, our discussions on our email list and and through videos that people have posted uh, already this week and on previous occasions. Uh, some of us are uh, child-free. Now, child-free, I don't mean we don't have kids. There's an actual, like, thing uh, called child-free. Uh, it's, it's kind of a movement. It's a philosophy. It's, uh, fuck having kids. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's bigger than that. It's like we shouldn't have kids or we shouldn't be like that we have to uh, that there's a there's something moral and right about making the stand and saying I'm not gonna have kids and maybe maybe you shouldn't either um, there are so many things about having kids I mean uh, for one thing look at all the population issues there are too damn many human beings on this planet uh, if you look historically, there have been massive die-offs of uh, species in the history of the Earth. And currently, uh, the biggest risk of massive species die-off is not an asteroid or a comet or anything like that. It's, it's people. Um, it's one species just going nuts. Uh, so... From a philosophical standpoint, we should really throttle it back some. Um, but also, you look at the number of kids out there who need homes. Um, there are kids who could really stand to be adopted or to have uh, foster families. Um, and uh, a lot of people are already aunts or uncles or... Uh, extended family of kids uh, who have one or more parents but frankly if you get that occasional or even persistent parental itch you know there's no reason why you can't uh, become invested in the children in your family already uh, having said all this if you are gender queer or gender variant in some way uh, and you want to have kids there's nothing wrong with raising them in such a manner that you are openly the freak that you are uh, because you're okay um, I mean I don't know maybe some of you watching this are not okay maybe some of y'all are psycho killers not talking about that, um, but you are okay in your gender expression. Um, even if you're just a freaking weirdo, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but there's nothing wrong 
with just saying, I'm going to be me, live my life the best I can, mistakes and all, and I'm going to uh, not have kids, uh, or whatever way of living life that seems right to you. I mean, live your life. You only get so much of it, and you only get it the one time. So, happy Thursday, and peace.